is satisfying beyond measure to start with a concept. Nothing else existed. I didn't have one vine in the ground. I think to start with a concept that's here and translate that to a bottle, to a label, to a foil, to design the bottle, it's an incredible learning process. This vineyard is, is like a fingerprint. It's mm. like no other one. It's a very, very wonderfully different vineyard. The fact that it was planted in 1972, wow. so in effect for Monterey, it's pretty mm -hmm. old. Not yeah. the oldest, yeah. but pretty old. The flavors from the grapes from this area, the terroir and all of that wonderful word that we use to cover the climate, which includes the prevailing wind that we're feeling that starts usually in the afternoon, the cool fog, <laughs> and the wonderful soil, the alluvial fan of decomposed granite, the inclination to the north, all of those things make the vineyard very, very special. I'm here today with Dan Carlson, who is the winemaker for Talbot Vineyards. Dan, tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to be here at Talbot Vineyards. Well, I've been making wine for about 30 years, Napa, Sonoma. Ended up down here in Monterey County about 13 years ago. Uh, ran Shalone Vineyard as GM winemaker for about 10 years. Uh, been here for about two years. This is about a 540-acre vineyard, and we're able to produce upwards of 80,000 cases a year for Robert Talbot Vineyard, 100% grown by us, so it's a real spectacular opportunity to translate this vineyard into the bottle. What kind of practices have you instituted since you've been here at the vineyard that are really helping to bring out the voice of this vineyard? Well, more cover crop, uh, trying to hold the ground together. Now we're trying to live with the weeds and you have them be beneficial to us. So these are fescues and clovers that fix nitrogen, enrich our soils, and we just them in every year. So we add organic mm. material as well as nitrogen. So it's a much kinder approach and it also is much more erosion control. Overall, it's 100% wind. We really make what I call three tiers of wine. There's the Cayley Heart tier, which is pure fruit expression. Not a lot of oak used. It's not meant to be buttery and yeasty. It's meant to be bright, zippy fruit. Logan is meant to be absolutely perfection. It's that blend of the two. And as we move up into our top wines, it's more winemaker influence. Lots of oak, lots of surly contact, lots of malolactic. And we have enough fruit character to hold up to just about anything a winemaker could throw at it. The tiers are really driven by at the high end, more winemaker influence. At the lower end, I guess we'd call it more uh, vineyard influence. 